Tell me ma when I go home The boys won't leave the girls alone To pull my hair Hello? Uh, who, who's this? You're the one after ringing me. So, who's this? Who am I talking to? You're very rude. Who am I talking to? Uh, you're the rude one. Do you not know how to answer a phone when someone rings you? Uh, exactly. You rang me. I was ringing for someone else, but you had to go and answer the second thing. It's my phone in my house. Ah, it's Nancy feckin' balls, isn't it? Oh, it's Mrs. Big bitch herself. Shut your gob and put your brother on the phone. <gasps> I don't think I will. He's very upset. Put him on the feckin' phone. He's baking a cake. He's what? Yes, baking a cake with junior balls. It calms him down. He gets out of prison and he doesn't even tell me. Goes up to me house and eats everything in the fridge and drinks me bingo prosecco. Good for him. I was still chained to the prison railings and on hunger strike. Well, well, he was stuffing his face in my house. Put him on the phone. No, I won't. Oh, oh. <clears throat> Please, Nancy, I'm at me wit's end. Jimmy, can you come to the phone? The bitch wants to talk to you. I can't come to the phone. Am I baking a cake? Tell my Jimmy Balls if he doesn't come to the phone this minute. I'm coming down there with Dimpna and the grandkids. Oh, God, no. Jimmy, you actually better come to the phone. There could be trouble. Oh, Janie Mac. Watch that cake for me, Nancy. Don't let you and your balls at it. Just take the feckin' phone before she gets on a bus. I heard that. Would you mind hopping into the other room there, Nancy, while I speak with my beautiful wife? Thanks, sweetheart. Jimmy feckin' balls. And the voice of a goddess. How was my beautiful wife? That sister of yours, she's an awful feckin' wagon. Ah, God love her. She's only got the one leg. Well, she's a one-legged wagon, so. Ah, she's been very good to my junior balls all these years. Except for when she bit his ear off. Let's not forget that. Ah, now, sure, that couldn't be helped. (sighs) I'm still very mad at you. I was willing to starve myself to death for our love. And you, up in my house, stuffing yourself with me curly-whirlies. Seven of them, for feck's sake. Now, in fairness now, they're not as big as they used to be. Why did you run away? You were threatening me with violence, darling. I mean, just released from prison. Were you ever going to tell me you were released? Well, I was planning on surprising you. You can go back to that prison for all I care. When they released me earlier, they told me not to get in any trouble. That's why I sent... Uh, that's why I went straight to your house... I had no idea you'd be so mad at me. And now you're back at your sister's baking a feckin' cake. Do you know how upset I was? Now, you know, darling, that I would never intentionally upset you. And you said I was fat. Well, I'm the fat one, darling. You know that. As my now ex-cellmate Jeremy says, I intend to project my own problems onto the people I love the most. So... You saying I need to lose a little weight is you saying you love me? Exactly, darling. And as for myself, I'm going back on me diet. I want to be skinny for you. (sighs) Well, those seven curly worries are not going to help. It's missing you that makes me so hungry. Is that why you're baking yourself a cake? That's for you, love. What? I'm baking a cake for you. For me? I even put your name on it. My name? I never had me name on a cake before. Oh, read it out for me, will you? Your name? Oh, oh yeah. Read it for me. I want to hear me name read aloud. Okay, here goes. <clears throat> it says, I love you, Mrs. Balls. <gasps> beautiful, Jimmy. Just beautiful. <laughs> uh, I think I'm going to cry. Ah, now, love, don't cry on me. Haven't I had Jeremy crying on me all morning? Oh, no. Uh, What's the matter with Jeremy? Jeremy was very upset to be losing me as his cellmate. He was inconsolable, to be honest. I've never seen a man sob like that. His enormous chest muscles were heaving up and down on his body with a sobbing. I didn't know what to do. Ah, the poor fella. Tell us... Will you come up to me now, Jimmy? Is it not too late? What are you talking about? You live here now. Oh, that's right. So I do. Should I bring the cake? Yeah, we can have it afterwards. After what? Are you joking me? 
You just got out of prison again. You must be dying for it. For what? Ah, come on now. Oh, right. I see what you mean. Dying for that. Yeah, of course. I'll put me Barry Manilow record on. Could it be magic? That's our favourite. Is it? Listen to me. Brush your teeth. Put the cake in a bag. Change your jocks. And get your arse up here. I'll be waiting. Don't disappoint me, Jimmy Balls. That's a lot of pressure, darling. Let me give Jeremy back in the prison a quick buzz. It's, it's his first night alone. And then I'll be right up to you. Go on then. Hurry up. Wear your prison uniform for me. See you soon, love. Bye for now. Bye, 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 bye. Did you hear all that, Dimpne? Oh, I did, all right. There's something not right, Mammy. There's something very fishy with this whole Jeremy thing. Ah, would you stop? Didn't Jimmy bake me a feckin' cake? Has me name on it and all. He can put anyone's feckin' name on that cake, Mammy. Doesn't mean nothing. Let's stick to the feckin' plan. Do you remember the plan? Jesus, Dimpna, I'm not Charlie's feckin' Theron. I mean, a plan? Really? Number one, brush your teeth. Number two, put on the nightdress Mrs Mooney lent you. It's still out on the line. Let me get it. Not now, wait till I'm finished. Three, put the Barry Manilow record on. Of course. Did you shave? What? Where? Your feckin' legs. Oh, Jesus. You had me scared there for a minute. Well, did you shave them or not? No. And I'll tell you why. Oh, this should be good. Jimmy Balls is actually fond of hairy legs. Not, not that I have hairy legs, of course, but, but if I did, well, it wouldn't ruin it for him. That's grand. Do you have any wine? I have a few cans of Guinness. Or, or should I make him a cup of tea? Don't be stupid, you're not giving him tea. You want him in the bedroom, not the feckin' kitchen. Sh- should I make me bed? No, I already told you. You have to be in the bed when he gets there. Oh, with the cans of Guinness, like? Yeah. And do you have any grapes? Grapes are pretty sexy. I have a bag of raisins. Are they sexy? Yeah, they'll have to do. Bring them up with you. Now, the last part of the plan... The chains from the prison. Do you have them ready? I have them on his side of the bed. He'll never see them until they're on him. Now, are you sure he won't mind the chains, Dimpna? Oh, fellas love that kind of thing, Mammy. Now, if he tries something funny, me and Norman will be outside in the car. Funny like like what? Funny like he tries to feck and leave. Right, so? Oh, it's all very exciting. The important thing is to enjoy yourself, Mammy. I feckin' better. This is his last chance. Bye, 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 bye. And cut your feckin' toenails, mammy.